all about mammals. The two main categories of living things in the world are plants and animals. Animals are divided into two main types, those without backbones called invertebrates and those with backbones called vertebrates. Humans are vertebrates. Your vertebrae, or spine, runs down the center of your back. Animals in both groups are divided into smaller groups based on their traits or characteristics. Scientists call this classification. Classification helps make it easier to identify and study animals throughout the world. Scientists have classified all vertebrates into five different groups. Mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. You can probably name some animals that go into each group. Each group of animals has its own unique traits and characteristics, but some of the groups share one or more of the same traits. For example, birds and mammals are both warm-blooded, and reptiles and mammals are both vertebrates. However, they are not in the same group because they also have some differences. For instance, reptiles and fish lay eggs, but mammals do not. There is a lot to learn about each of the five groups of animals. In this video, we're going to focus on mammals. Mammals are one of the largest animal groups on the earth. All mammals have backbones or spines. A human is a mammal. You are in the same animal group as dogs, rabbits, whales, and many others. Mammals are warm-blooded. That means their bodies will always try to keep a constant temperature on the inside, no matter the temperature around them. Your body temperature averages 98.6 degrees, unless you're sick and have a fever. Other mammals' body temperatures average between 97 and 103 degrees. But if an animal is cold-blooded like fish, reptiles, and amphibians, their body temperature goes up and down, depending on the temperature around them. Some mammals only eat meat or plants, and others eat both, like humans do. Mammals generate their body heat through the food they eat, which is converted into energy. Mammals must eat more food than cold-blooded animals to allow them to maintain a constant body temperature. Have you ever jumped into a freezing cold ocean or lake and found yourself shivering from the cold? Your body is trying to warm you up and shivering generates little bursts of heat. Your body also tries to cool us down by sweating. Some mammals have other ways of cooling themselves down. A dog pants and a pig rolls in the mud. The mud protects the pig's skin from the sun. And when the water droplets in the mud evaporate, it leaves the pig's skin moist, which also helps cool it down. All mammals have hair or fur that cover their bodies. For mammals that hibernate, like bears, lemurs, squirrels, and skunks, fur helps keep them warm all winter long. Another characteristic of mammals is that almost all of them give birth to live babies. This is different from fish and birds which lay eggs that will eventually hatch. There are only two mammals that lay eggs, the platypus and the echidna, which is kind of a mix between an anteater and a porcupine. Mammal mothers nurse their young with milk that their bodies make. A newborn mammal, like a human or a puppy or a kitten, needs a parent to take care of them after they're born. But in some of the other groups, the animals are left on their own and have no one to look after them. All mammals use lungs to breathe. That's why whales and dolphins are considered mammals and not fish. They do not have gills like fish, and they are not cold-blooded, so they are classified as mammals. Mammals that live on land have four limbs. That means they have two arms and two legs, like kangaroos and monkeys, or just four legs, like horses, cows, and rabbits. There are about 6,500 species of mammals. Rodents such as beavers, mice, and squirrels make up almost half of the mammals on Earth. The largest mammal in the world is the blue whale. It can be 150 feet long 
and weigh 150 tons, or 300,000 pounds. That's about the same weight as five Statues of Liberty put together. The elephant is the largest mammal on land, and the giraffe is the tallest. The smallest mammal is called the hog-nosed bat or bumblebee bat. It's about the same size as a bee and weighs about as much as a feather. The bat is also the only mammal that can fly, and the slowest mammal in the world is the two-toed sloth. Mammals make up just one group of the many types of animals in the world. Even though mammals share many characteristics, each is also unique, from the tiniest bat to the biggest whale. Thanks for following Clarendon Learning. Be sure to subscribe. For more free resources, check us out at clarendonlearning.org.